Brian, clearly it was a disappointing performance by the Raiders tonight. I'm curious, did you see this coming in practice? Was there anything that you saw that would have led you to believe that tonight's disaster would have occurred? Um, no. I mean, I don't think there's anything that I saw during practice that would have, you know, led me to believe this would be the outcome. You know, it's disappointing. I just feel like we just didn't execute the way we wanted to. And it's just we got to go back to practice and kind of just work out the kinks. Brian, that first drive of the second half, you guys you know, got the ball downfield, you were moving, you got the touchdown. What were you able to do that drive that you weren't able to do the rest of the game? Like I said before, I, I feel like it was just a matter of execution. You know, we just were shooting ourselves in the foot all game, man. And um, whether it was just pre-snap penalties or just not doing the right thing assignment-wise, it's just execution. Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. Brian, you know, as a receiver, one big play can – change the complexion of a game. Deshaun gets in, he gets his opportunity, makes that turn inward. The rest is kind of history. Did you talk to him? Did he say anything? Just maybe console him? What 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 took place on the sideline afterwards? Um, you know, we just told him we're going to get it back. And, you know, that's what everybody's attitude is when something bad happens. We don't turn against each other. We kind of embrace each other, you know, tell him we're going to get it back and just keep playing. I mean, he made a, a really nice catch and it's just, you know, just got to finish it, man. Brian, obviously the, the team has been through a lot off the field, but um, on the field, you know, having back-to-back -back losses, how would you describe where the locker room is right now? Um, I feel like even though we've had the two losses and the off-the-field things, I don't feel like we're in a bad place because we have great leaders on this team. We have uh, DC and just all the older guys, Max, Yannick, man. These guys really are the voice of the team, and they lead us, man, and we never let things get us too low or too high. We try to stay right here. And I feel like we've been doing a good job of that. And I feel like we will bounce back from these two losses. Anything else? All right, great. Thanks, Brian. Hunter, Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. Asked Brian the same thing as a receiver. At any given time, as well as the Chiefs are playing and, you know, mistakes the Raiders are making, one big play can make a difference. Um, Deshaun gets in, makes that catch, turns inward, and rests yeah. on it, goes south. Did, yeah. you got, did you talk to him afterwards? I'm not sure why he turned inward, yeah. but just what happened on that play? Maybe did you have a chance to speak to him on the sideline? Yeah, I mean, he's he's been playing the game of football for a long time, and he wishes he – Definitely would have them back, but that was a heck of a play he made to come out um, to get us going. You know, I think it was right there, at the start of the second half. Um, you know, to come off the street basically and learn a new offense. Um, it was awesome to see him make that catch. And um, so, yeah, there's some negatives to it, but I think focusing on the positives, that was a heck of a play to get his eyes around. Um, Derek threw it online, um, but yeah, I think he would definitely want to have that one back, and we would too for sure. Hunter, clearly a disappointing performance by the team tonight, but I'm curious, did you have any indication this week that this was coming? Was there anything in practice that you saw? Anything at if all? If I did, then I would have tried to correct it, you know. Um, no, I think, you know, uh, it kind of snowballed on us a little bit. Um, but uh, we'll play him again, and, um, you know, we'll have to play better next time if we want to beat them. Um, they did a good job on third down. Um, and then offensively, we just have to protect the ball and get it going and then give ourselves a better chance down the stretch. Uh, but, I mean, we're 5-4. and four. We have a winning record. It's the beauty of the NFL is, you know, you can lose six or seven games. It's the thing I love about it and still win the Super Bowl. So um, get it going, have a hot finish to the season, and uh, turn it around. Hunter, after last week's loss to the Giants, you guys said it was a lack of ac execution on offense when it came to putting up points. And, and Brian Edwards just said also he felt like you guys didn't execute well enough today. Has there been any trend or anything when it comes to lack of execution that you've noticed the last couple of weeks? No. Uh, obviously, when you lose, you, you, you don't want to execute a little better. Um, but no, I, I don't think so. I think, you know, uh, we just got to focus on getting better. I, I, there's nothing that I've seen in practice. I feel like we've had, you know, two really good practices um, the last two weeks. Um, so obviously, we might need to change something up because uh, we haven't came out and played as well as we would have liked. But uh, but no, I think the, the, uh, the focus has been there. The preparation has been there. Um, we'll just have to find out what it is uh, come game day. 
Hunter, so um, at, obviously at the halftime, you guys came out in the third quarter, and it, so you had to put together that really great drive. It looked like you're going to start putting things together after the missed field goal. What uh, what what did you guys talk about at the halftime that you could that you could share, and yeah. um, how did that not continue after that? Yeah. Well, the big thing was we had 21 plays, I think, in the first half. You know, we had those four drives, and I could be wrong, but I think it was around something around there. We didn't have a lot of plays, um, a lot of opportunities. We didn't get our, you know, get going and um, find a rhythm, uh, to be honest with you. And so coming out the second half, we were able to do that, uh, make it 17-14. And, uh, and so, you know, uh, we, just, we just have to start faster. Um, that's one thing that, you know, we've talked about all year. Um, we can't always rely on coming out, getting down 14-0 to the, you know, Ravens, you know, 14-0 to whoever, and then come back and win. We got to start fast and get on top of these teams early because um, they're in the NFL. They're good teams. Anything else? Great. Awesome. Thank you all. Appreciate it. It would be a very disappointing performance today, you know, by all of us. And... Um, you know, if you start with the certainly minus again the turnovers, uh, just way too many penalties. You know, untimely, whatever you want to call them. We had a fourth down penalty, a third down penalty, flipped it around on defense, had a penalty then going in um, in the red zone. And uh, you know, this is the kind of game you really got to play well in all three phases. Playing against a team like this, and we really didn't play well in any of the three phases. We didn't play well in the kicking game. Gave up a tip punt, gave up a fake punt down there, plus 50, and. Um, Big penalty as well from the sideline, but um, you know we have way too many explosive plays on on defense. Didn't have enough explosive plays on offense. Only had 20 plays in the first half on offense. Never really got in the rhythm. And then I thought we flipped it around. Came back out, uh, big drive, start the second half with a touchdown, and we stopped them. And then we're, we hit Deshaun on a big play down there, and we turned the ball over. A little bit, of maybe a turning point in the game uh, to some degree. And then we just kind of. The bottom came out after that. Uh, uncharacteristically, I didn't think we tackled very well. We've been doing that, I thought, as of late. Um, and then again, just you know, turnovers again late in the game. So I'll uh, answer any questions you may have. Rich, Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. You spoke about Deshaun's play. Even as, as, as well as they were playing compared to the mistakes you were making, that one play may have changed a little bit of the momentum, 24-14. I'm sure he'd love to have that play back, and he feels bad. Did you have a chance to talk to him? Just curious what he was – I know he turned inward instead of upward. Yeah, just a again, tough he's break. played a lot of football. You know what I mean? Did a great job getting open. I thought Derek did a great job getting the ball, and, you know, it came out. So um, it's not the turning point maybe in the whole game, but certainly it was a little bit of a momentum swing, you know, back to them where I thought we were getting ready to go down and, and get us another drive. So I said something to him just about just keep battling. You know, he's been through those things before. So we're looking forward to him hopefully having a bigger – um, role as we get going here. Hey, Rich, uh, what was the plan against Travis Kelsey? And why was they giving you so much trouble today? What, what, what were they doing? I was giving you guys so much trouble. Well, I, obviously, you know, I'll get with Gus on that. But we, you know, we wanted to play coverage early, and then we changed up some of the coverages a little bit. I know he had a big day. You know, he's been a pain in the Raiders' side for a long time, and and uh, credit to them, they did a good job of getting him in position to make a lot of plays today. So we'll kind of get that figured out as we get going. The receiver room uh, has been a little thin in the recent weeks, and you kind of reloaded at that. Uh, but with Hunter Renfro and Brian Edwards stepping up, did what they do tonight, did that really show a lot of promising signs for you just for the future of the rest of the season? Well, I think they've been playing well. Certainly Hunter's been playing well. And then uh, I think because of some of the things that we did with Zay today and got Waller bracketed a little bit, that it opened Brian up a little bit um, to have some explosive plays. Did a good job of hanging on the ball and scoring a touchdown down there for us. So, um, you know, I guess you could say that, but, you know, Hunter's had a really prominent role as we've been playing all year. And then I think, again, some things opened up uh, with some of the routes that we had on the outside for Brian to get open inside a little bit today. What were the issues on third down on offense? You guys finished like one for nine. Just in how difficult does that make it to get into a Yeah, run? again, you know, third down woes today. And then certainly in the first half, just not enough plays, you know, to get ourselves going. And then we just didn't do a very good job in third down. We played from behind most of the game you know, put ourselves in position um, with some of the penalties to go from some third and fives and third and sixes to third and longs. So um, we have to clean that up. 
Rich, your pass defense had been really strong all year coming into this one. Obviously, the Chiefs had a bad, big day through the air. Uh, just I know you obviously have to watch the film and, and kind of deep dive into it. But just first glance, what did you notice as some of the, the main issues out there when it came? Well, to- obviously, you know, we, um, he, he's tough to get to. You know, we knew that going into the game. You know, we had talked about how explosive they are in offense, and he gets rid of the ball in a hurry. He drops real deep. So I thought we had good pass rush all day. We just couldn't get our hands on him, couldn't get to him. And, uh, you know, he can always extend plays whether it's third down or whether it's during the course of a series of downs, which he did tonight. Got himself in great position, obviously in and out of the pocket some to make plays downfield. You guys all set? Any more questions? Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, This week in his short amount of time he's been here. I think what, what, with what the coaches asked him to do and what to learn and things like that, I thought he did a great job. And so um, it's hard to you know just come in and pick up this whole offense in a short amount of time, just a couple of days. But um, I thought I thought he picked it up mentally, did a great job. He did a great job on that deep ball. Um, you know, there was a was probably probably another one I could have could have thrown to him, but we I had to run on one. Um, and then you know he, he was he's really close from having a big day, but. Yeah, another one where he cleared it out, and Zay caught a big play across the middle. So uh, I thought I thought he did a good job. Derek, I'm sure that Deshaun would love to have that play back and maybe make a different decision in the direction that he went. When you come off the field after a play like that, you're down by ten. Could it change a complexion? Maybe I'm sure you had some words for him, some encouragement. What would you say to him? Just yeah, curious. I don't remember exactly, but I just encourage him, like just keep going. Like that's all we can do. You know, there's so much time left in the game. Um, He's just trying to make a play. I don't fault him, you know, but um, he'll he'll watch it and you know learn from it. However, and uh, Eb will talk to him and and he'll grow from it. But he, he's a good player, man. He a lot of speed out there. You know he helped you know stri- he helped set their safeties back a little farther when he's on the field. It was it was good to see. Hey Derek, did you feel like the guys came out a little tight tonight? So what was your impression of the how you guys came out? I was a big game, big stage. I mean, a disappointing result. What was your, your sense of the of the team's performance and their attitude? I guess. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. Um, it, it didn't feel like anyone was you know stressing out or anything like that. You know, I, I've been around guys that you could you could feel it a little bit, but I didn't really feel that. Um, uh, I just. Uh, we were we were so close. Like you think about it, it may, you know, maybe you know, I don't know, but you know, because we're so close from like three more huge plays, you know, um, you know, here and there. But um, I don't know. I, it'd be once I watch the film and see oh, was it this, was it that, and you get a feel. Really, the next day recapping of really what went what went wrong. Derek, you you obviously been in this spot before. You guys get off to a good start, and then yep. things start going poorly. What makes you believe that this year is different? What can you do to sort of stop that spiral? I, just, I think we're just a better team, honestly. Uh, we got better players, uh, you know. Um, now that doesn't result in wins. You know, I've been on teams that are really talented that that, that underperformed, um, you know. So uh, I just really believe in our group. Close, it's a close group. You know, football. You got to be tight. You got to do it together. Um, the things that we messed up today. I mean, it's so so correctable. You know, um, you know. I think that's what gives me, you know, like, oh, yeah, we could do it. It wasn't like we just got outmanned. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to describe it that way. Um, you know, I, I, I really believe that, you know, um, that this group is just different. It's just being around them. I'm around them every day. It's just a different group. They're clearly a disappointing performance, but you are 5-4 and four with a winning record with eight games left. I'm oh. just curious. How much is the balance between correcting and just saying, "Hey, we got to keep going forward"? Oh yeah, I mean that's we don't have a choice, you know. We, we really don't have a choice. You just go, you know. Um, you know, whether we won this game or lost this game, literally, I'd stand right here and you know we have to go to the next one. You know, it doesn't that doesn't change in the NFL. And uh, we had two weeks here um, where it wasn't our best football as a team, and uh, you know we have to bounce back against a good team coming in here. And, uh, you know, I look forward to the challenge. Derek, I know you said you have to watch the film to sort of get a grasp as to what went wrong. But leading up to this in in film study about Kansas City, Mm -hmm. they've had a rough start to the season. Is there something that you saw or you guys saw on their defense that today they did differently than what you saw that disrupted you? Or was it more just you guys, the mistakes, and the chemistry was off? Well, I think they they did a good job on a couple – 
they did a good job on a few plays of, of uh, getting me off my spot. You know, there's one where I'm trying to throw a bomb, you know, to, to Zay, and my, my arm gets hit, you know, it gets picked. You know, there's another one later in the game, we, we, uh, we didn't get one of, the, one of their blitzers, and, um, you know, Zay's again, he's, Zay, Zay should have had a huge day, if I'm honest, you know. So uh, we'd feel a little bit different about, it, you know, those, the whole scenario if those two things didn't happen. You know, there's another one I can think of too, but a, a, as I sit here right now, none of that matters, you know, because we didn't do it. And so, um, we just got to keep going. You know, it sucks. It's a hard feeling. Uh, but if we don't want to fall off and we don't want to do those things, we, we got to come to work tomorrow and get ready to go. Derek, you guys have been really good in turnover margin leading up to the bye. Um, it you know, has been the case the last couple of games. Yep. Obviously, the opposing defenses are making plays, but what do you think yep. has led to that? Yeah, I mean, again, he punched it out. Uh, blind pursuit. You know, we talk about blind pursuit all the time. Uh, that's the hardest time to ever hold on to a ball. You know, you don't see them, you know, and you're trying to make a play. You're trying to get back going. You know, the natural thing to do when you get back going is to, you know, let the arm, you know, go like that. And so we talk about blind pursuit all the time. And then uh, for my, I mean, again, I saw Zay and I was trying to make the throw, same kind of throw I made to Deshaun, um, you know, earlier, trying to make the same throw to Zay and uh, my arm gets hit, you know, like <laughs> it, it sucks. Um, you know, I didn't feel like I was just dropping back and threw it straight to somebody. You know, I thought it was more, it wasn't like I missed, you know, you know accurate wise. It just, my arm, it gets up in the air and that happens. You know, you try and now I'm going to watch it and how do I correct that? You know, is it in the pocket? You know, how do I get, you know, out of the ball out of my hand faster? Again, it's a situation too where, you know, we're down two scores. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying my best, especially the whole fourth quarter, just trying to take shots, you know, even, I mean, forcing balls, you know, so. Um, it, it's just one of those things uh, where it's football. You know? They they punched it out. They got a tip, you know, ball up in the air, and they got their hands on one. You know, it sucks, but they got them. Do one more, Josh. Derek, it's five games now. You can down double digits in the first half yep. in, this, in this in the slow starts, and you're able to overcome a couple of them early in the year, but not not the last few. What do you guys need to do? Is there things you need to do in terms of either the scripted plays or the preparation to mm. avoid those you know, those holes that you got yourselves in? Yeah, absolutely. I think. I mean, I mean, it's a, it's a team game. You know, we got to – if we – I felt so confident every time we were out there on the field and what they were giving us, you know, and what we were seeing and communicating and things like that, that, you know, we just got to stay on the field. That helps the defense, you know. Obviously, they'll have something else to say, but I can only speak for us. You know, if we – that was the main thing we talked about coming in. It's like, guys, let's just stay on the field. We're going to go – we're going to move the ball, you know. And so um, – doesn't have to wait till third down. We can get on first or second down too. Let's just stay on the field. Let's keep moving the ball. Um, we've been really good at that. Uh, but we did. We got in a hole. And against this team, it's hard, you know. Uh, especially with, they just play soft coverage. You know, uh, when they get a big lead, they play soft coverage, blitz here and there, and they make you throw it in front of them. You know, and uh, it's hard. It's hard. It's a hard way to do it. But um, you know, I think that if we could just stay on the field early and keep our defense on the sideline, I mean, that's what we can do as offense to help them out. Great. Thank you, everyone. Good. Appreciate it. Max, uh, there seemed to be a couple of plays there where, like, maybe the frustrations of the game kind of boiled over for for you. Can you just talk about what those frustrations were in this game? If, if you're trying to set me up to say something I don't want to say, I'll pass on that. You know, it is. It's a frustrating game. Things happen. It is what it is. Just got to play smarter, I guess. Hey, Max. Uh, Gus said uh, w when he talked to going into this game, this was going to be a real test to show where you guys were as a defense and what you needed to do better. What, with that in mind, what, what 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 do you feel about that coming out of the game? Um, you know, there's a lot of things to improve on. There's uh, we just got to be better um, in every phase. You know, we didn't we didn't play well tonight. We know that. Um, we just got to bounce back and get ready for Cincy. Despite everything that happened, you went up against another uh, Eastern Michigan alum tonight uh, on the line of scrimmage, even though uh, despite it didn't work out the way that you want to. Was it a fun matchup for you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Good time. Hey, Max, uh, on third down, what were you seeing as, the, as your main problem you saw? They were getting a lot of success on third downs. What was, what was the, the thing they were doing so well against you guys? Um... Hard to say, you know, we just got to tackle better, rush better, 
Um, just be better in every phase. I think, you know, the game comes down to a few plays. You know, if a couple of plays went the other way, um, you know, it would have been it would have been different. But, you know, we didn't make the amount of plays we needed to make tonight. Hey, Max, I think Brian mentioned you by name and said you're, you're a great leader of this team, and that, that's really going to be what pulls you guys forward. That, with that being said, you know, what, what kind of message is there for, for you guys to make sure to not uh, extend this losing streak any further? Yeah, you know, we lost two games. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a tough league. Everybody, you know, is is good. So, at the end of the day, we just got to look at the film and get better from it. Um, it sucks because you know it's a rivalry game. Uh, we're at home. Scored, got out of hand pretty, you know, fast at the end of the game. You know, we were in it and it slipped away. So, it is what it is. You know, everybody is going to look at it and have their take on it. But, you know, we just got to keep keep doing what we're doing, get better and better every day. Max, to, to kind of piggyback on that, without it becoming a, a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know, the, what has happened the past two years down the stretch, um, how do you guys keep the focus there? Because it seems like it's a fine line between where you are right now. You've got a winning record after nine games, but you're on a two-game losing streak, and, and you've still got so much time left to go. So what was your question? Yeah, so how do you guys not let it just get spiral out of control again? Um, I think it just starts with the day-to-day -day process. You know, we just got to keep getting better and find ways to improve. Um, you know, it's tough. Uh, we've we've beaten good teams. We've lost to teams we sh feel like we should have beaten. Um, and the Chiefs were the better team tonight. So, you know, it's tough. You know, we got to just watch the film and, and go from there. Max, Derek said that um, it's just as much on the offense as far as being able to stay out there. He at one point said, hey, let's just stay out there so the defense can, in a sense, get some rest. I'm not asking you to put it on the offense and, and you know, short three and outs, but do you think you, your unit was getting a little winded at times? Were you getting tired? Could, were you feeling it? Um, no, I feel like we were fine. Uh, at the end of the day, we got to play complimentary football. We know that. Um, we talk about it all the time. You know, we just... We got to get better, you know. On defense, we got to get stops on on key downs. Uh, got to get more turnovers. I think we lost a turnover battle tonight, so it just comes down to little things, you know. We just got to keep keep getting better and better. All right, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Max.